Hello. I thought doing my first ever YouTube video about this AdLib compatible, or in fact not compatible, is the Yamaha YM3812 AdLib chipset parallel port sound card. So this AdLib sound card with the Yamaha OPL2 chipset is from Serda Shop, S-E-R-D-A Shop. I bought it as a kit, it was 35 euro delivered in a couple of days you can spend an extra 18 euro and have it built for you but I think there's a bit of a wait it's been doing the rounds on YouTube um, and it's a brilliant it's designed perfectly for machines such as this an old ThinkPad 360 CSE the latest ThinkPads in my collection uh, it's a 486 DX4 no 486 DX250 with no sound card so I plug this into the parallel port Plug the audio into speakers and give it power from somewhere. It can take 5 volts or USB. So once connected up, you need to run a small TSR in DOS, which will then let what well, most applications I've been trying detect it as an AdLib card and run as, you'd, as if you had an AdLib card installed. There's some applications. So anything that requires DOS protected mode, I believe, um, the TSI doesn't work, the driver such doesn't work, so you need to patch that. Now, there's only a limited number of games that the patch supports. Um, Doom and the Doom engine seems to work fine. Um, so let me show you a couple of demos. Thank you. 
So if you want sound out of a old laptop or PC that doesn't have a sound card but does have a power port then this will give you proper ad-lib quality sound very clean good audio quality there are other ways of course you can use a Disney sound source or a Kovach, Kovach speech thing which you can even make yourself like this just with a bunch of resistors a power port couple of capacitors and away you go but this is quite CPU intensive and not many things support it whereas the ad-lib is supported by many 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 old DOS games.